Sagittarius, welcome to your sexual magic deep dive reading. If you are sensitive towards sexual content, this is definitely not the video for you, okay? Guys, I have opened up personal readings. If you are interested in getting one, look down below. I'm also giving away a free personal reading. Look in the description box down below for that information of how to enter as well. Guys, I'm really excited to dive in with you today. Um, I have never done a deep dive reading for Sagittarius, I don't think. I haven't looked, but I don't think I have. So um, you guys had a lot of views, a lot of comments, a lot of likes. So that's what wins these bonus readings. So keep it up, guys. Um, I'm happy to see you guys on the roster. All right. Okay, so let's dive right in, Sag. So what we're going to be exploring before I get in. What we're going to be exploring is who's coming towards you, okay? We're going to look at who this person is, their personality traits, their sexual personality traits, their sexual feelings towards you, um, and then we're going to get an outcome with some advice, okay? So stick with me, all right? So the overall energy of this reading is the sun, all right? Guys, I already premeditated and shuffled on these cards. Um, I got you, Okay. So you could be dealing with a Leo here. This is the overall energy. So what I'm picking up for this reading um, for who's coming towards you is, you know, someone who is going to bring a lot of light into your life, someone who's going to bring warmth, someone who's going to bring sexual satisfaction, sexual healing, somebody like I'm picking up a vibe of just warm bodies. Okay. This is someone I feel who's going to Who's going to give it to you right? Okay, Sag? But let's dive in here. So the energy we have, the first four cards that I already have on the table are describing this person, who they are as a person, um, and then their sexual characteristics as well, okay? So we've got the Empress, we've got the Ten of Fire, we've got the Priest, and we've got the Five of Earth. Guys, sexually, this is a really nice energy, Okay with the empress this is someone who has a very they have a feminine side and what's great about this person is they have a good balance with the masculine side okay so this is venus with saturn saturn rules capricorn and saturn is about commitment it's about ambition um drive passion okay um this is saturn and sagittarius all right now sag this person, whoever's coming towards you, male or female, it's not gender specific. I just read the cards how they are. But this is somebody who will worship you. Someone who's going to bring sensuality to this connection. Somebody who will also bring fire and passion as well with this 10 of fire, okay? With the Venus energy, um, this person's very sexual, very intuitive, um, their body is their entire body is pretty much an erogenous zone okay um with the venus energy yes it is very feminine but i mean if you're a female and you're looking for a male you know that feminine masculine balance is really sexy because this person doesn't have a problem showing emotions but this person still maintains their masculinity here with this ten of fire so it's a really good balance all right especially in the sheets so this person can give it to you rough, but they can give it to you right. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's if you're dealing with a man. If you're dealing with a woman, same thing goes. It's like the female can still be a freak, but with that masculine energy, but she knows how to be sensual with her man and caress and love and bring that softer side to sex, okay? With the priest, um, this is someone who is more traditional okay this is someone who would want commitment with you you could be dealing with a virgo we have two virgo cards on the table venus energy saturn energy and uh sagittarius energy okay but strong virgo um now so again for this person that's coming towards you this is someone who uh likes exclusivity somebody who's going to take it slow when they fuck, they're going to fuck you like they mean it, okay? They're going to be slow, sensual. Um, again, we've got that ten of fire, so the aggression is there within this person. But again, they have that balance of the Venus energy, which is sensual, soft, and feminine. Um, 
but it's somebody who wants commitment, someone who doesn't want to share somebody, somebody who's not into that player energy, somebody who, you know, they want to find that one person that they're sexually compatible with and then come back again and again and again. Okay, Sag, this is somebody who, um, they're, they want to claim your body, okay? If, if it's for them, it's for them and they want it only for them, okay? Now, with the five of earth, this can represent a single parent. That's who you could be dealing with. That could be why this person is coming off as an energy that's looking for exclusivity. Um, I know that it's not always necessarily so, but sometimes when you're a single parent, you don't want to have a bunch of people coming in and out, right? You're looking for someone to settle down with. That's not going to be for everyone. That's going to be a message for some of you, but this could be um, a single parent. Again, we have the Virgo energy. So this is someone who you may find that this person might be a little clingy, okay? But when they're attracted to somebody, they want to um, be absolutely engulfed by that person, okay? Um, they're going to want to get to know you. They're going to want to see what you like. They're, they're going to want to invest in the home life, okay? This is somebody who watches you for quite some time before they decide to move forward because they want to be very, very sure. Um, this person doesn't really like player energy. They don't want to be left out in the cold by anybody here with this five of earth, okay? Um, sexually, you may find that this person is kind of demanding, especially with this ten of fire, okay? Sex, sex is a way of release for this person. Sex is a way to connect with this person, especially with this Empress energy. Like Empress is about fertility, connection. Um, this energy coming from this person who's coming towards you is just, it's really beautiful. It's really sensual. It's really erotic. Um, this is someone, like I said, who has the ability to dominate as well as be submissive. There's a nice balance of yin and yang here with this person within their personality and their sexual personality, okay? Um, I'm picking up a really beautiful energy coming towards you here. All right, so let's get their feelings towards you, all right? What are their sexual feelings towards that? Four cards, please feelings or desires towards Sagittarius, sexual feelings or desires towards Sagittarius, more cards please, sexual feelings or desires towards Sag, oh well, okay so we got five cards, we're going to take a look here. Bottom of the deck, we've got the, the three of pentacles, okay? All right, let's get into this, Sag. So normally I take four, but as you can see, five fell out. So, of course, I'm going to take them all here. So we've got the Hierophant again. This person, really sensual, really traditional. Um, it's just someone who... They're really just, look at this, oh my goodness. So we've got the Knave of Cups. Look at these cards, they're absolutely beautiful, okay? The Knave of Cups, really sensual, sexual. Um, the Knave can almost come off as a slutty vibe once in a while, but this is um, deep emotional desire for sex with, with their partner, with you, okay? So this is who's coming towards you. All right, we've got the Hierophant. So like I said, um, this person is more traditional. Um, they may feel like they have a spiritual connection with you. Um, it could be almost to the point where you guys look at each other and it's like you can read each other's mind. It's like, yes, I want you to take your clothes off. Yes, I want you to come closer. And you don't have to say these things. Yes, I want you to touch me here. Please touch me there. I'm yearning here. Like, that's the kind of energy that the Hierophant gives off. It's like, it's that inner knowing um, of what the other person wants. And again, this is a very sensual energy. It's very traditional. It's very soft. It's not overly aggressive. Um, there's a lot of passion here, okay, that this person has for you. We also have the Knight of Cups. 
So the Knight of Cups is an offer, all right? This person may see you and they want to come forward with that sexual offer, okay? You are something that this person is desiring. Um, like there is a lot of emotions here, especially with this water card. You could be dealing with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but this is in their feelings towards you. Um, however, with that Venus energy, you know, you could be dealing with a water sign as well. I, I connect Venus to water because it's emotions, it's love. Um, so I connect it deeply with the cups. Um, so yes, um, this person, there's an interest in you here. There's an emotional connection here with this Knight of Cups, okay? They're going to come in towards you with an offer is what I'm seeing. So we have the Empress again, okay? So if you're a female, this is somebody who is really going to worship you. You're going to find um, that their mouth is on your body constantly. Like, it's not going to leave your body. Same if you're a male. If it's female to male, um, it's the same energy. Like, this female... Like I said, if you're a male, this female is really going to worship your body. She is, she's, like I said, her, her mouth is going to be everywhere, all over your chest, those cock lines, inner thighs, all over, everywhere you would want them to be, okay? Um, this is a person who, like I said, really sensual. This person wants to please you. Um, this person expects to be pleased back. Don't get it twisted. Um, but they are really erotic, really deep, really sensual. Again, this, this is the Venus card. This is about love. This is about sex. This is about passion. This is about sensuality, okay? All mixed into one. <laughs> Look at these two rabbits humping down here. I love these cards, by the way. Okay. So then we have the Six of Swords, okay? Okay. So the Six of Swords in this deck is a little bit different um, than the traditional. So the Six of Swords in this deck means, so it's a path of change, okay? In terms of emotion, it's, in, it's pursuing an increasingly greater understanding, okay? So I'm picking up here that this person like I said, they're very deep. They're very emotional. Even though this is an air card, these are the swords. Look at all this water surrounding, okay? There's a lot of emotion here. Again, so intellectually, this is a deeper understanding. This person wants to get to know you. So not only do they want to get to know your body, you're going to find that this person has a lot of conversation with you. Um, it's almost like an aphrodisiac to them as well, to talk to you, to understand what you like. Um... So not only hear, but also show and teach and learn, right? Oh my God, this passion, like this, oh, this is hot. Okay, we're going to clarify these with the sexual magic deck. Can we clarify this page of cups here, please? Sexual feelings towards Sag. Look, warm, what did I tell you? This person, they see you as a warm body, okay? Like th there's a lot of erotic energy coming from this person towards you okay this is beautiful let me clarify the hierophant please for Sagittarius in regards to the person that's coming towards them <laughs> so I think this is really ironic um, that the hierophant came out with the masturbation card right <laughs> woo super ironic um, but like this person could quite literally be masturbating, thinking about you, um, religiously, <laughs> religiously, uh, this person, you're really on their mind. Like I said, there's almost like a spiritual connection. I'm picking up here that when this person masturbates, it's like they can feel you. It's like they're imagining you in their mind and like maybe you're coming to them in the 5D. I don't know, but you're helping this person be sexually satisfied even when you're not around, okay? Very sexy. Let's clarify this Six of Swords here for Sag. Clarify this Six of Swords for Sag, please. Let me put 
person's feelings towards them. The moon. Okay, a deeper understanding. All right. Oop. A deeper understanding. This person may be even thinking about traveling towards you. The moon is about longing, okay? So this is about distance. I'm picking up there may be a distance between you two, not necessarily so, but there's a sense of longing here. There could be, this person could come towards you. However, it could feel like maybe they don't have time to see you. Maybe they live, you know, a couple hours away. I'm not picking up anywhere too far, um, but it's like there are things that come in between you guys being together all the time. So it creates this sense of longing for one another, all right? You guys could be having dreams about each other. Um, this person could be even fantasizing about you constantly just so they can think that they better understand your body. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you start getting creative and you start thinking about all the things you can do to a person, it makes you expand further and further and further. And then when you're in the physical, you have an idea, you have a plan. It's like the same thing when you go to build a building. You need to have a blueprint, okay? So that's exactly what this person is doing. They're trying to get a deeper understanding of you through dreams and fantasies. Um, but they're longing for you, okay? If you haven't met this person yet, obviously, this is going to be once you guys actually connect because this is who's coming towards you. Um, but this is somebody who like I said, is very eager to please you in every way, shape and for shape or form. They want to please you. All right. Let's clarify this Empress. There's a lot of Empress energy here. Okay. So this is somebody, like I said, this is somebody who will put you on a pedestal. You're going to turn, you're going to find that you're putting them on a pedestal as, as well, because they're able to show you that side of them. Look at this intimate passion okay this is a really romantic reading like out of 10 this is a 10 look at this intimacy have you ever seen pretty woman when richard when she gets on top of richard gear richard gear says what do you do and julia roberts says nothing um not nothing she says i do everything the kiss on the mouth it's too personal that's exactly what this is there is such a deep intimacy that's going to ignite between the two of you, okay? This is pure passion. This is intimacy. This is wanting to get to know somebody on a deeper level. This is romance. This is this is sensuality. This is this is next level, okay? This is not just some conquest energy that's coming in to smash and dash, okay? This is somebody who's trying to die deep. Somebody Somebody who's trying to get to know you. Someone who's really trying to pull out all the stops. There's going to be a really deep connection between you and this person when they come towards you, okay? All right, let's clarify this this Knight of Cups here. Can you clarify the Knight of Cups for that? Yeah, so the Emperor, this is what I'm saying. So the Emperor is virility. So this is virility... And the emperor, emperor, that's a masculine energy, okay? Like I said, this person has a nice balance of masculine and feminine. feminine. It's like even in the streets, like this person will show their masculine side 100%. But when you guys are at home, when you guys are alone, that's when this person gets deep. That's when this person gets emotional. That's when this person shows you who they are as a person, okay? They can maintain their masculinity, but they are still, I'm not saying this person's mush, okay? This person is not mush. This person is very strong, especially mentally, especially with that 10 of fire. This person is so turned on by you. It's like, and like I said, it's like, it's not even just the physical. There's like an emotional connection there. It's like a buzzing, a burning in their body that they can feel when they're with you that brings about that emotion, okay? It's not just about the way you look. It's not just about getting their dick wet or getting their pussy wet. It's really about something much deeper than that that turns them on about you, okay? This is a high sex drive. This is somebody who's going to be putting it down all day, all fucking day, all night, lunchtime, tea time, midnight hour, in the shower, okay? They're not playing around. This person, there's something incredibly attractive about you, okay? 
it's deep. It runs deep like the freaking ocean, okay? Ooh, this is hot. I'm about to I'm about to find out the outcome here. I'm trying to see I'm trying to see what's happening. So, can we get the outcome here? Well, the overall sexual energy between the two, mutual sexual energy between Sagittarius and this person coming towards them. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, talk to me, I talk back. I love hearing your stories and engaging with you guys. Um, yes. Two more cards, please. For the mutual energy. This is hot, you guys. Oh. So hot. Two more cards, please. Two more, one more cards, please. Look, bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Wands, okay? Queen of Wands knows what the fuck they want. This is an erotic, sexual energy. This is The Queen of Wands is the hottest queen in the deck. She is fire. She's like... She's like Rihanna stripping. <laughs> like, she is really... She's really sensual, really erotic. Oh. Queen of Wands. That's a good, that's a good bottom of the deck card. Okay, so let's get into this mutual energy here, okay? So, we've got the Six of Cups. Mm, I hate to say it, but it could be somebody returning from your past who's coming back around. Might not be. It's not for everybody, but you know. So, we've got the... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to clarify these, and then I'm going to read out the final energy, okay? For Sag, can you clarify the strength card, please? Clarify the strength card. Again, so like, you could be dealing with the Leo here. Okay, so I got uh, four cards here for to clarify the strength. So we've got Discontent. We've got the Ten of Swords. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Lovers, okay? Let me clarify this Six of Cups, and then I'm going to go over the full energy. We got the Fool. See? This could be somebody coming back from your past. I'm not even lying. Clarify the Seven of Wands, please. The mutual sexual energy here. Two of Swords. Invitation. We've got the Nine of Wands caressing here. Bottom of the deck, the Sun. You've got the Sun twice. You could be dealing with this. You could be dealing with a wheel. But I am telling you, Sag, this is the warmest, most sensual energy that I think I've ever picked up in a reading. Like, this is really... Wow. Okay? Alright. Queen of Wands at the bottom of this deck. So let's get in it here. So, we have got... First of all, I want to address the Six, the six of Cups here, okay? The Six of Cups with the Fool. Now... This could be someone that comes back from the past. I'm sorry. It could be. Not necessarily so. That's obviously for like a small group of you. I'm, it's a big, it's a general reading. There's a lot of people watching, okay? Um, but this Fool card, this is, this is someone who has no fear, okay? No fear to get to know you on a sexual level, okay? You're, this is a mutual energy. So I feel like you are going to be just as vulnerable with this person okay um to you to both of you you guys feel this really familiar energy with each other and it allows you guys to really open up to each other sexually emotionally intimately intimately like there are no boundaries here with the two of you is what i'm picking up okay there is going to be some very real fantasies that are fulfilled by each other that you guys couldn't fulfill with other people is what I'm getting here it's like you guys are so risky with one another honestly and with the empress energy if you're a female watch out you could get pregnant <laughs> if you're a male be careful because you could get somebody else pregnant all right um take it how it resonates that's not that's just a message for some again that's not for everybody but this is you guys are going to be playing on the wild side is what I'm getting here, okay? 
like this is an erotic adventure this is about being comfortable this is about um nostalgia this is about you know this is going to take you to a really new familiar place it's like if you ever had you know somebody who was like a really great love and maybe you've been looking for that this is that and some okay this is something so much more this is like an elevation of sexual pleasure intimacy romance this is honestly i want to say it's more of a love reading this is so so romantic okay so we've got the strength card here so the we got this clarifying the strength card so strength is about lust okay so obviously there's a lusty attraction towards you i'm picking up a sense of so the ten of swords is about pain discontent in traditional tarot okay the knight of pentacles is a slow moving energy so i feel like there's a sense of strength for the connection moving slowly somebody i think wants this to move a little faster um with the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles is gratification okay this is about beauty this is about sensuality this is about um, being happy, being complete, okay? And then the lover's energy, another beautiful energy. The lover's in, in sexual tarot is about mirrors, okay? So you guys, this is like mirrors, vulnerability, okay? This is about, it's like there's that lust there, there's that passion, there's that steam, but like, again, it's, it's, it's very sensual, it's very deep. You guys are mirroring each other. You guys are vulnerable with each other. Like I said, with that fool card, there's really a sense of, it's also about choice, okay? Um, and the sexy thing about choice is that you have decided that this is what you want, okay? So that means you're sure, all right? Again, the connection between you and this person, I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but it's going to be really groundbreaking okay you guys are like yin and yang all right so with this seven of wands and the invitation card okay so like i said it's not going to take very very long for this person to realize that they want to get closer to you you're not going to take very long to realize that you want to get closer to this person it's going to be on honestly automatic here. Um, like I'm picking up a, a very deep desire, especially with this seven of wands. Okay. The seven of wands again is about aggression. This person's going to come at you very fast. You guys are going to move towards each other very fast. This is a need to win. The seven of wands is about, um, if they want it, they get it. Okay. This is fire, aggression, drive, okay, to get you to come towards them. Look at this girl. She's like pretty much turning away her face. She's like, this guy's like, take my flower. <laughs> She's like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> but he's like, yes, take my flower. You're going to take it. <laughs> pretty much is what's happening here, okay? That's the energy between you two. It's like, you guys have to have one another. You have to have... You have to have them. You have to have your hands on their body. You have to know what this person feels like. Okay? The the sexual chemistry is incredibly strong here. All right. So then we've got caressing with the seven of pentacles. Okay? Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off. Um, yes, caressing with the seven of pentacles. Um... Seven of Pentacles represents foreplay, okay? So I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be a lot of foreplay. There's going to be a lot of mouth here, mouth there, hands here, hands there. Um, this person really likes foreplay. Again, it's like, this isn't about, this isn't about, like I said, tip and dip, okay? This is really about sensuality and really pleasing the other person. Like, this is a long, drawn-out sexual encounter, over and over and over again is what this reading is reflecting here okay this person is going to take their time they want this pleasure to last a while okay a long time all right um 
yes, this is about building a bond to get to new sexual levels here. Um, and like I said, it's going to be a tender approach. It's like there's going to be a lot of talking about what each other likes. There's going to be a lot of learning. There's going to be a lot of showing, show and tell. It's going to be a really erotic experience, okay? Um, and this also just represents desiring one another, okay? This is beautiful. Let me see if I can pull a piece of advice here. I don't even want to pull a piece of advice. This is a perfect reading for you, Sag. Okay, let's see if we can just get any more insight here. Not even advice, just insight. Any more messages that Sagittarius needs to know in regards to this connection? So at the bottom of the deck, we've got be bold and make the first move. Okay. Listen, whoever's coming towards you, I think they're going to make the move, but you never know. So look at the bigger picture and a tough cycle comes to an end or an end of the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. Okay. So, so, okay. So I'm picking up two, two different things here for you, Sag. So either the first one is that if this is someone coming back from the past with that six of cups here, um, then it could have been painful for you guys to be in separation, but it's coming to an end, okay? This person may be coming back um, and they may be a changed person and you may be questioning it. But again, look at the bigger picture, okay? There's a really sensual, sexual um, connection here, okay? Uh, I think you should give it a shot. Now, for the others who are single, who this person's coming towards them, be bold and make the first move. <laughs> You don't have to. Honestly, I think this person's going to make a move towards you. I think their their sexual energy is really strong towards you. I don't think they're going to hide that, to be honest. But you just never know. So look at the bigger picture and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, I think if when this person comes towards you, um, there may be a difficulty with distance, like I was saying earlier. Um, and it may be tough for you guys because you guys may want to be hands-on and can't be uh, right away. But Listen, be patient, have patience with this connection because once it comes into fruition, once you guys get to the physical, this is going to be some beautiful sex. Like this is going to be some hot ass, wop ass, wet ass, like, ooh. listen, comment down below. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> okay. Make sure you like subscribe. If you want to enter for a free week reading, there is um, information in the description box down below about how to enter the contest. If you just want a personal reading with me, my information is down below as well. You can hit me up on Instagram or you can send me an email. All that information is in the description box. And guys, I really appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Take care.